Hi everyone, it's Rachel here. Hope you're doing well. So um, I'm back with these altered book things. And the reason why I'm back is because, as you know, um, with this one, I had some, and I'll show you this one in a minute. Um, it, this was thicker paper and I had, um, it's quite sort of bumpy here. Um, so there's a few things that I'm thinking, um, some of you made some good recommendations to me and then there are a few things that I'm trying a different way of doing the pages and as several of you mentioned that you're going to do them, I don't know if it's too late but um, I wanted to tell you what I'm trying out. So we'll, we might do a little bit together and then I'll show you that one. So this is another book I'm going to um, empty out. Now it's very beautiful leather cover. Um, I'll probably put a little bit of embroidery and lace just somewhere and I don't really want to cover it up and I might make a nice sort of tie closure for it. It's a 1904 book um, and so it's a little bit um, wobbly here so I'm going to make sure I'll probably um, glue that page down or maybe no and actually no I'm what I'm going to look at this look at the inside paper it's beautiful so I'll probably um, glue these pages down I might actually rip the front cover out so we can glue that somewhere so we, I like always to know um, you know where the book came from so I'll put that one aside um, but I'm so first of all really great suggestion um, was to watch Crafty Irina. Now the difference between my books and Crafty Irina's books, I've watched her videos, is that you can you see that there mine are sewn in signatures whereas the books that she used are glued to the spine. The pages are glued to the spine. So that makes it easier because if the pages are glued to the spine you can just decide um, how many, pa depending on the thickness of the paper. So these pages here are not very thick, so I need to glue a f few extras together. Um, but depending on the thickness of the pages, like if they're thick like this one, you can even, this one here, you can just do two, whereas this is thin. So I need to glue more together. Um, depending on, like, so you want to glue three together, and then she, what she does, because hers are glued to the spine, she can just go and rip out the pages. How Like she's ripping out, she said for... I think she said for a 128 um, page or 120 page book. Can't, you better watch her video. Um, I'll link them in the description box below. She would rip out eight pages and then glue. I can't remember how many, but it would depend on the thickness of your pages. Okay, so you can go ahead and do that. And then what she does is she um, glues from the back. Now that's all wet there because I did use my wet glue. And then I've, I've pulled out my other glue stick. Now I'm going to use my glue stick because... Um, these pages are thinner so I've actually glued uh, one two three here I thought I glued more no three here because this end paper is thicker but then here I think I'm gluing about four but it's actually adjusting um, just depending where my page is for now what I'm doing so first of all it was recommended that I start from the back so I'm starting from the back because apparently then you don't get that um, sort of curve like I had trouble jigging my book back into shape afterwards and I these are so much fun these books guys um anyway getting sidetracked so what I and then it was recommended to me oh why don't you tear out the pages in the middle of the signature and that's that's a very good suggestion but um it obviously it depends how many pages are in your signature um are there enough like Ideally, if I, so this is the middle of my signature, right? So ideally, um, um, yeah, if you like, fortunately in this book, there's quite a lot of pages in each signature. So I can, when I get um, to like here, I had the, the first, the back page of the signature and that's the front page. And then, you know, like a whole lot of pages were in the middle. I've been able just to grab them and pull them out. And so I'm, and was recommended to make sure that the back page is glued to this bundle of, um, pages. And then this page, the front page of the signature is glued to the next bundle, because obviously if you glue the, the two front and back page of the signature to the bundle, um, then that they're not going to they're, they're going to jiggle about because you've pulled pages out and so the stitching is loose i don't know if that's making any sense however here because i'm not gluing just two pages together um i'm having to jiggle it a little bit um how many how many pages i um 
you know, like where I where I glue them. So, for example, here, I'm going to glue these four pages together. And that's the middle of my signature. So wherever I'm at in the middle of my signature, I want to make sure this page of, of the signature is glued over here and that page is glued over there. But what is happening for me is it's not um, even. Like, so I want to do four pages here. So I'm not pulling out the whole center of the next signature. I'm pulling out less pages. So I'm having to, see, there. I'm, I'm not pulling them all out. I've got one, two, I've got two, I'm leaving one behind. So I'm not always pulling out the same number and I'm just ripping them out like that because you know what I'm like, just rip it out. Just do it. Um, so then sometimes I might find I have to glue, like that has to really has to go over there or I might actually sometimes then decide to glue two more pages over. So I'm not being very even just depending on where it falls and I'm sure I have completely confused everybody. But anyway, so that's why... Um, um, it's different techniques slightly to Crafty Irina because these, um, this is also an old book, but these um, page, pages are stitched in. So they're not glued into the spine. So you cannot just rip out the pages willy-nilly sort of thing. You have to think about it. And then Crafty Irina, she's also doing a bit like what, um, what Gail had done um, in hers and putting pockets and things. I'm not doing that. I like, I'm, I'm not doing that type i want to just make these sort of canvases really um to then use them as a glue book or a journal or whatever you like sort of thing they're just a bit of fun something different to do um and i had a funny comment too um i caught up with all my comments um i had a funny comment too um that <laughs> i wrote in my title no so and then and then and then um the person who commented and then I heard the sewing machine and I'm like oh dear you're right see I've ripped that so what I might do I mean, I still I think I'll, I'll have to what will I do I've ripped it well does it matter I don't know I don't know oh, well it might be all right if I glue it down we'll just try it doesn't matter don't panic it's not the end of the world okay yes yeah, so she then she commented and then you said and it said in the title no so and then and then what was then she heard the sewing machine go so there you have it well i didn't it was a no sew journal like the making of no I, i'm gonna have this is this is a problem i'm gonna rip this out i'll have to invent something else that's coming out and i'm going to what am i going to do i'm going to glue now yeah, that's all sticky i'm going to what am i going to do i'll just leave that won't i what I'll do is I'll just grab a bit of this page and glue it on. And I'll just have to wing that. I'll just have to fix it. It's causing me to have a hot flush. Um, I'll have to fix that. I'm making a mess here. Good one, Rachel. Make a mess. Okay, that's what I'll do. I'll rip that off. That's what, see, I fixed it. In my opinion, it's fixed. Very bodgy crafting here. Yeah, um, yes, yeah, so then, um, and then the, the sewing machine, but that was only because I had to um, sew, sew shut the the one side of the, so I want four, about four pages, one, two, three, four, and that's the middle of my signature, you see, so I'm going to do um, five. Is that going to work? I think so. Then what's, where's the, the next middle of the signature? Let me just see. Um, yep, so I, you kind of have to jiggy it a little bit how many you're going to tear out. I'm lost now. I've lost it. Here, there's the center of that one. So let's take, I'm just going to rip those out. I'll probably regret that decision. Hit three. Okay. Let me see. Um, and then, yes, I was only sewing the, sewing the, the, the envelope. I mean, they could be glued. But the journal was made with no sewing. So I think that's the centre. So how many do I have here now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Way too many. So can I? I, might, I, just, I think I'm just going to try. Oh, there, I can take that one out. There we go. So I've got... Let's just glue this. 
So I won't put you through the torture of seeing me do all of this, but we'll just see how we go. So you've just got to jiggle it about and work it out um, and um, and see more or less how, you know, how many pages you're going to have glued down. Sometimes you might have to glue one extra. Sometimes you might have to glue one less. Now, this is the middle of my signature here. So that, in theory, is meant to go on the other side um, glued to the other next page but I'm actually going to glue it here but then I'll glue another page so then it's four and it should be fairly strong I think well that's what I think anyway it's all a learning process isn't it so I hope everybody is well and I hope you're all enjoying well I can't really say that we're enjoying lockdown are we but we're, at least you're getting some more crafty time there is an up a bit more crafty time Actually, I had a bit less crafty time because it's a bit distracting having the husband home and the daughter. But I'll probably miss them when, we, when we're let loose like chickens running out of a chicken coop. Um, yes, I'll probably miss the two of them. Okay, so here we go. Look, see some pages are slightly thicker than others because I've had to, as I said, um, wing it. So we'll do a couple more. So I've got, that one's got to go over over there that's my, going to be my first gluing page and now here this is good because i'm at the beginning of my next the end of that signature so i need to keep that page and find the center and i need to rip these out and i'm, I'm ripping out a whole lot here this is good so this has worked out well i've got one two yep i've ripped out a whole lot now one lady also um said um that she had um just taken out alternate signatures so that's something to try as well i think i might try that next time i decide to do another one of these i, th I think i might try tearing out alternate signatures and see how i go with that so that's good that can go there oh now i'm gluing this one to there but i'm going to glue another two so it should be all right i'm not following the rules i don't like following following too many too many rules and you know worse came to worse if it if it were for some reason like one group of pages were weaker than another you could um you know put washi tape there or something or you know like a piece you know a nice piece of old book page down the center and that will strengthen it so there's one and i don't know i've lost my center of my signature now I'll go to the next one there it is that, there it is yes okay so I'll take out I'll just take out one at a time one two I'd like to take out four that's three no that's my first page then I might take maybe I'll just take the whole lot out I think I'll take the whole lot out and see what happens get rid of that there we go that's gone that's there, that's fine. And now I'll find the centre of this one. See, it would work out really well if my paper was thicker, as I said, and I were able to... Um, so if I tear... I'm just going to tear out one group at a time. And I were able to um, just, you know, use the more even. So one, two, three. So I'll do one, two, three here. I won't do four. oh dear i've done it again i've got to be careful i'm very vigorous gluer i need to calm my farm and glue slowly and not be in a hurry and i haven't counted anything there's no calculating going on here it's just winging it and hoping for hoping for the best that's what i'm doing i'm hoping for the best i'll rip that one as well what a goose So we have, um, well, actually, I'll probably, I'll post it after this video, I think. I had another video to post today, but I think I'll post this one because it's um, in keeping with the previous video. Um, and so that way, if you are working on it and you haven't ripped out all your pages, you can adjust to doing it um, in a better fashion than what I did in the other video. So those that's slightly thinner than my other ones. Um, now here... See, I don't want to glue that there because that's part of that. 
Oh, I can actually. I think that's not my first page. That's my first page. So I can glue down another one. I had two first page. Oh, right, that's my second page. We're not making any sense. Yes, a bit of a surprise for you today. There's going to be a surprise video totally off theme. Totally off theme it will be. So there we go. I've got my four. Okay, that's the centre centre. That's the first page there. So that one's going to go over here. And I might just glue this one down already because I ripped it. And I feel like I need to look after it and glue it to another page. Righty-o. Let's glue that one down. There we go. Okay, so where's the... I don't know. I'm lost now. Where's my centre? Centre. Centre of the book books. Centre of the book thingy, majiggy. Where are you? I mean, there is no method to the madness. I mean, it's just rip it out. One. Two. I want to rip out four. There's my glued pages. Well, I'm going to rip all of those out. Out you come. There we go. So I need to glue down two more pages. I've got no idea what I'm doing. I'm just gluing it. I'm just, you know. Glue that down and I need to glue down another one. And time will tell what problems am I going to have with this. And that's all right. I'm going to glue that down. I guess the moral of the story is just do what works for you. I do like this more than having that lumpy, bumpy bit that I had in the centre, I will say. I do like this more. They're not even. Okay. Those pages. And I'm about halfway through the book. I'll do a, I'll do one more one more set. Okay, so now here we have is this is the center of a signature, and they need to be glued together, which is a no-no. But they're actually going to be glued to two more pages, so they'll be fine. So let's find the next next center. Well, maybe I'll leave that one. No, no, that's going to be. I think that'll work. Where's the next center? can't see for looking. Is that the centre? Is that where the thread is? Can I see that? Yes, okay, so. One. So I'm taking it, I am taking out eight pages. There we go. And I actually am gluing as I go because um, it's kind of hard to see where. So that's, oh, those two are glued. No, they're not glued. Now, what have I done here? I've got one. Right, I'm just going to get rid of that. Probably making a mistake, but... I don't want to deal with ripped pages. I'm not going to add that one there, and I know I should, but because I'm not adding it because um, it's very thick. I'm not going to press so hard. Don't press so hard. Take it easy. Go talk to yourself. Remind yourself. Squeeze that. Put that there. I know that wasn't right. That was supposed to be glued over there, but it doesn't matter. It'll work out. Put some glue here. If it jiggies about, as I said, I'll put some washi or something to reinforce it. It won't be the end of the world. Okay. Let's glue this one down. And I've got to glue one more. 
Hi, Steffi. Hi, Lindsay. Were there police at the post office? No. They were too confused. They were too closed. So the post, Steffi went to the post office um, for me today and it was closed. So they must be having closing days. So that was a bit of a pain. Okay, well, that's good. That worked out well. Okay. So you get the idea. I'm just sort of winging it, um, trying to tear out double pages and not have ridges like the other one. And look at that. Crafty Irina is correct. You can close it really well if you start from the back. So I'm sorry to anyone who started it um, and, and glued from the front like me, Ding Dong. Um, not you, Ding Dong, me, Ding Dong. Um, but we live and learn. So gluing, I mean, that's still good. I mean, look at that. That's still fine. Um, but this is better. I do feel this is better. So I don't, who knows? I don't know what the science of it, why the, if you do that, it's better from the back. But anyway, so I'll finish that one off screen. And I wanted to show you what I'm doing with this one and what I have done. So I'm making my, I'm just in the process I've made my, I'm making my closure for it. And I decided um, because it had mum's beautiful um, sort of really Japanese inspired boro stitching on the front um, with the, these are antique Japanese fabrics. That's old fabric there. That's Indian. I put some Indian on there. Um, so it's sort of um, Asian anyway so um, I wanted to hand stitch my closure so what I did was I just had a stick um, I just put two pieces of cotton together did a little machine stitch down the center I didn't use any glue and um, when I'm hand stitching I don't like to have glue on my fabric and I just pinned all of these along here and I'm just running stitching them sort of in this sort of style um, with a similar color Probably not the same colour because I don't have mum's threads here. Um, and that's going to be the closure for the journal. And I, what I did was I actually started in the centre. No, that's not. I started about here, I think. You can see where my knots are. I started about there. And I went down the, the middle one first and then I'm doing the sides. I've got to do... Um, I'm going to do five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I've got to do two more rows. Yeah two more rows, finish this row and two more rows of running stitching, okay, to hold it all together. And then I've got to figure out how I'm going to attach it there. But I thought I'd do a flip through of this journal. Um, now with this journal, so I need to remember to, let me just write it down here. I need to remember to attach Crafty Irina's videos. However, do remember, do remember that, um, her books look to me like they were glued they had glued in spines they're not sewn in signatures and i i'm going to link my sister's um japanese digis because that's what i've used in here a little bit as well so these are all my sister's uh, japanese digis and in this pocket here i put a couple of them that i had printed out for someone to play with and then I've got a few sort of um, blossom, I think they might be more Chinese, I'm not sure. I don't know if that's Chinese or Japanese, but I have a, a stamp set that's Asian. Um, I'll just say Asian just because I don't know if it's Japanese or Chinese. And then most of these are Japanese, I believe, because they came from a antique Japanese store in Sydney. So this is what I've done with it. It's a little mix between... Um, sort of you know William Morris and Asian and then there's a little bit of um Latin there so it's a bit of a mix but um that's the original book page I left that um and then I just went like similar to the other one but just different that was also original to the book that flips out um I just thought it was so cute I had to include that and then that, and yeah some of my own digis and then bits of my sister's um so there are some lumps and bumps in this one because it was very thick and I didn't do it the right method um that's a pocket but um, I still really like it. I mean, this is totally European, but then I put a little bit of Asian there, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, just kind of similar to the other one. Got a few crinkles here and there, but um, with a different touch. That's actually original antique writing that I've got. That's original. 
and then this little tabs and things very similar to the other one but you do have this lit ridge here because as i said i didn't do it the right method and then some you know italian envelopes and a bit of um sarah's digis so it's still fairly fairly simple for someone to to play with and this is um something that i was mucking around with in the computer and and i put that in there it's just a tea dyed paper with um some digital stamping on there and and i kind of forgot about it and didn't go on there's a tab there and i think i put something of sarah's in there um so i put that in there it's just printed on regular copy paper you could use it in collaging or something like that and i still left all this italian sort of look as well and then that one flips out and then i left the back so i like those and i thought just leave that to someone someone else and then that's the back of it so that is that one and i'm just fin as i said i'm just finishing the closure it's actually got the needle in it um but i'm not quite sure it's going to wrap around maybe i'll just tie it yeah i think i might just tie it i might just tie it on i felt like that went really well with the journal so that is that video i just wanted to update you with um better methods i feel for doing this um this book doesn't have a huge deep spine i didn't particularly want to um sort of gut it completely and and um you know like so in new pages because you probably fit one signature in there and i tend to make them into a gator mouth don't i so i thought this might be a fun alternative for this book is to do it um with this method so um i will continue on with that one and i'll update you when it's when it's done so thank you for watching bye